Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a video on the Magma Master Pack. This is a full in-game showcase. No combos, just an in-game showcase. I'll be giving my own personal opinion on all three skins. So let's go ahead and get started. First up is the Ragnarok skin, and as we can see, I was worried about the wings getting too much in the way, but it looks like they don't get too in much in the way. He's gliding, free-falling. Even going down, they don't look too bad. But gliding, at least they don't look too bad. They're, they stay down more than I thought they would. I was really worrying they were going to be like the old UV wings where they go out really far and you can't really see half their screen. So it seems to me like they stay down like a cape, but they don't act like a cape. Um, kind of big for my personal taste, but they do really fit the Ragnarok skin. So, let's get into ADS. Uh, not too bad. It's kind of what I expected for Ragnarok. You can't really see over his head because of his horns, but honestly, worth it. He looks super cool. Same thing with the wings. You can't really see because they kind of stick up kind of far. So, yeah. Like that, you can see he's got some animation on his horn. Some firing, um, not too bad. Harvesting, I think the, Levi the, Le the Leviathan axe goes really well with them. In terms of him being a Viking and them using mostly Viking like weapons, like axes. I don't know, but you know, let's try to get this the best opinion I can. Anyway, um, with the Loki skin, it doesn't seem like he's got the same problem where the Loki horn will get in front of the sight, and for Ragnarok, it doesn't seem to be that way. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty good. Yeah, ADS isn't as bad as I thought it would be. Here's Ragnarok without a back bling, and as you can see, he's got some glow and animation on his back, and honestly, it looks really well done. So, yeah. I think this is a great skin. One of the best skins in this pack. Let's get on to Rust Lord or Roast Lord. So here's the Roast Lord skin. And honestly, he's my least favorite out of the pack. Although he has a ton of animation and a ton of cool effects. The skin itself is not my favorite. Now, in terms of the weakest on animation-wise, I think Kuno has the we uh, weakest. But honestly, I love the Kuno skin in general. Like, that's one of my top, um, let's say, 25 skins in the entire game. And this just puts more icing on that cake. So, in terms of animation, he's got quite a lot. He's got a lot of the magma coming out of him. ADS isn't super bad. The back bling is really big though, so his ADS gets worse. Um, but overall, these two skins both have custom back blings that look really good. And I'm lacking just a smidge. Anyway. But. Okay, that was just me being bad. Anyway. ADS isn't too bad. I really recommend this pack so far. Without back bling. Uh, there's a lot of animation going on with this guy. It's amazing. Uh, I like the glowing on the helmet in the back. That fits him a lot. Alright, now with the Kuno. Kuno is, I guess, one of my personal favorite skins in the entire game. So, this being a Magma Sneeze made it even better. Now... I believe I only need the blaze skin to finish all magma outfits. So whenever that comes out, I might buy it just to get the rest of the set. So anyway, Inferno Kuno, I believe is the name. Uh, probably one of the best. I love the reddish orange hair. ADS is not bad at all. Ponytail gets in the way just a little bit, but honestly, I love the ponytail. It's amazing. Oh, ADS is not too bad. The bag bling has never been my favorite, but 
it's not too bad. Kind of wish they made the Kenji back bling in Molten series. But, that's about it. Animation-wise, she's got some animation on her little, like, bandages coming off her arms. And it's just a flame. Same thing with Ragnarok. And I believe it's also on the front of her neck with her uh, mask. So here are some 90s. Mainly just to get up to show what it looks like ADS on a uh, ramp. Like so, doesn't get too bad. Kuno is in the bottom left of the screen, and it's not bad whatsoever. Like I said, probably one of the better skins in the pack. Here's Kuno without a back bling, and as you can tell, she does have animation on her back. That little diamond. I do wish she had a little bit more magma coming through, especially on all the seams, and maybe on the bandages on the legs. Other than that, she's a great skin. Personally, one of my favorite. That's all I gotta say. Like I said, there's the animation a little better. I hope I'm going to zoom in on that while editing. But, yeah. That's about it. This pack is very worth it. I highly recommend it. I'll see you guys later. Bye.